I asked AI what are the top three most walkable neighborhoods in Austin, Texas. And before I looked at its answers, I wrote down what I thought are the top three most walkable neighborhoods in Austin, Texas. And this is what it came up with. Let's see how well it did. Number one, downtown Austin. Okay, this one I actually do agree with. I mean, this one is, this one is obvious. Um, I would be suspect if anybody didn't put this down as the most walkable neighborhood in Austin. If you can afford to live there and your number one priority is like walkability, being able to say walk to a grocery store, access to transit, there's pretty good bike lanes. Obviously it's very central and connected to other neighborhoods in Austin, including a few of the other ones that we'll talk about. Um, yeah, this one just makes the most sense. If you want to be able to get groceries without a car, um, stuff like that, this is a great option. You also have access to nature even because you have access to Zilker, the hike and bike trail. You've got access to Peas Park, all kinds of stuff right there. Um, you've got smaller parks like Republic Square. You've got the Waterloo Park. You've got so much there. So this one definitely makes sense. So, so far so good. Number two, West University or UT Austin. Um, this one also makes a lot of sense. Very walkable area, but it's geared towards students. Um, but I, I did write this down as one of the top three, so I do agree with it. Of course, you might not want to live there if you aren't a student, but it's still a cool place with some interesting things to do and high levels of walkability, hopefully getting even better in the future as rail gets built out. Here's the deal. The number three neighborhood that it said is Bolden Creek, which is basically a stand-in for South Central Austin. And this is the one that I disagree with. So South Central Austin is great. It has high proximity to Zilker, uh, Auditorium Shores. You're still close to downtown. You've got South Congress. The problem is what it comes down to is that the biking and walking infrastructure in this area is not as good as I would want if I was really trying to optimize for uh, walkability and bikeability. A lot of the sidewalks are really narrow. There's a lot of single family homes here. And a lot of the bike lanes are non-existent. South Lamar, South First, and South Congress are nightmares to bike on. You end up having to bike through the neighborhoods if you actually wanna feel safe. So. Um, while these are great neighborhoods you should consider, the neighborhood that I would put in this third place spot is Near East Austin. Near East Austin has, in my opinion, uh, a little bit more of a dense urban feel. Uh, the bike lanes and connection to downtown are better. You've got a Whole Foods and a Target that you can maybe walk to if you live close enough to them. Also still a thriving bar and restaurant scene there. If anything, the major downside to Central East Austin is if you're not interested in drinking, there are a lot of bars there and a lot of bar culture, so it might get a little bit loud and annoying at night on the weekends if you're not into that sort of thing. So anyway, that is my disagreement with the list. Overall, it's a solid list. Those are all great neighborhoods to consider for walkability, but I would trade out Bolden Creek and Central South Austin for Near East Austin in my top three.